Hi, I'm Alan Jones, executive editor for Boating World Magazine. Today I'm aboard the Crestliner 1750 Fishhawk with Steve Majors, who's the director of engineering at Crestliner. Steve, even though this is a 17-foot boat, it's loaded with huge features for the serious mm -hmm. angler. What, what's the, who do you think is going to be buying this boat? Uh, you get a wide variety of customers for this boat. You get a lot of serious anglers plus the, more of the, the family uh, fishermen as well. It's one of the main things with the 17-footer is you can easily get it in your garage. We offer this boat with a breakaway tongue. So you fold that back and it stows in your garage. You know, a lot of people like that. Well, even though it's only a 17-footer, I tell you, there's so much room in this boat, it's incredible. And I really love the, the amount of storage you guys have produced in this boat. There's storage everywhere. And I really like what you've done. Uh, a lot of people have put carpeting at the bottom of that, and that mm -hmm. really doesn't work out well. What have you done? Yeah, we like to either put a, a bed liner material. Some models, we even paint the bottom. Uh, if you put carpet in the bottom of a storage area, then that carpet will hold water, and it's no air circulating and it starts mildewing and starts smelling bad after a while. Right. Well, well, Steve, let's take a look at this helm. Even though it's a single console, there's plenty of room for lots of things like the, uh, like the uh, fish finder. Now, is this the only configuration for this boat? Well, actually, this is the side console. We do offer this in a dual console, also a, a full windshield model. Well, I'll tell you, you've got everything you need here. What, what do we have? Well, uh, we have a X96 Lowrance, which is an option for this model. Nice size depth finder, plenty of room for it. I mean, we also, this is a standard helm, but we do offer this with tilt. And also underneath, there's another option, nice storage compartment other, underneath, and, and it's lockable with the, the fuse block right there where it's easy to get to. Nice. One of my favorite features on this boat is your rod locker here in the center. Uh, what I really especially like is the fact that they've that you've labeled the length of rod that will fit in each compartment. Right. That's a really cool feature. Uh, you're able to get seven foot rods in the top and six foot rods in the bottom. Also, you notice underneath it's also a bed liner material which we put under all of our doors, which is a nice feature. It cleans it up very nicely. Also, in the same compartment, we have trolling motor storage for your batteries. Well, for weight and balance, that's perfect, right in the right. center line, and then it's hidden away. Is that a light I see there? Yes, this is a, a switch. When you open your lid, the light automatically comes on. Gee, I, I didn't think fishermen uh, fished in the dark, but... Uh, <laughs> some do, yes. Some of those crazy people. It's lockable, too, isn't it? Yes, it is lockable. Well, great. This is the roomiest uh, deck I've ever seen on a 17-footer. Uh, loads of storage, and yep. uh, let's take a look at some of that. All right. Well, you know, Steve, I have to keep reminding myself this is only a 17-footer. The size of these storage compartments is just amazing. Uh, can you show me a little sure. bit? Sure. This is your live well in this, this compartment. Here you have a lot of storage. This dry storage compartment is a line compartment, so it keeps the water out. Also, more storage there. Same thing on this side. Now, actually, you could convert, convert a couple of these to uh, coolers, couldn't you? Oh, absolutely. I mean, that you can uh, convert this to cooler very easily. Now, I noticed we have something new for this year. Uh, what do we have up here? That's a little bait well that we add, add on. It's aerated bait well. And, and the top of it, you see, it's got a, it's a foam on top to keep, you know, help keep your uh, minnows cool so you don't kill your bait. Now, do you do that with all the uh, uh All the live, live wells, wells have the insulated tops. That's great. Well, it's a handy feature. I mean, the bait's right there where you need it so you don't have to go fumbling back in the back. Absolutely. And I like this little handy storage compartment here because fishermen always have things they need to get to quickly. Yeah, yeah we put that there because I myself, when I'm fishing, I'm changing lures and it's nice to have a place to put them. Absolutely. Well, thanks, Steve. I appreciate it. Take care. We just finished testing the Crestliner 1750 Fishhawk. It's powered by Mercury's four-stroke 115, which proves to be a really good match for this boat. It's a nice compact uh, a boat for the serious angler. We got on a plane in three and a half seconds and went to 30 miles an hour in 8.0 seconds. Really uh, nice uh, performance. Top speed of 42.5. And even though this has got the single cable steering with no hydraulic assist, it actually uh, uh, steered pretty easily thanks to the 12 degree dead rise. Any more dead rise than that, you probably want the hydraulic, which is available um, um, as an option. Uh, this is a really roomy, serious angler boat, and but it's a, at a good price point too. 
For more information on the Crestliner 1750 Fishhawk and other great boats, go to BoatingWorld.com. I'm Alan Jones, and we'll see you out on the water.